In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add integers that have different signs. In other words, one integer will be positive and one integer will be negative. To do this, we're going to consider two problems. First, we'll look at negative 5 plus 2. This negative 5 means we have five little negatives hanging out here. One, two, three, four, five negatives. And plus 2 means we're going to bring in two positives, two positives, one, two. And what's interesting is we can pair up a negative and a positive together because when a negative and a positive get together, you end up with nothing. They subtract each other out. Similarly, this negative and positive get together. They subtract each other out. And what you see is when we do this, all that is left from this grouping of five negatives and two positives are three of these negatives. Let's try this other example. This other example has seven positives to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven positives. And we're going to add to it two negatives, or negative two. So there's a negative and a negative, two negatives. And again, we see these groupings of positives and negatives, which will subtract out to 0. In this case, what we see we're left with are five positives, or positive 5. We see sometimes the answer ends up positive and sometimes the answer ends up negative. How do we decide what happens? Well, one way you could think about this is the negatives and positives are going to battle. And when they go to battle, we have all these casualties that happen, that get divided out. Who's going to win? Well, the one that's going to win is the one that there's more of. If there's more positives, the answer's positive. If there's more negatives, the answer was negative. And then to decide out how much they win by, we simply had to subtract the numbers. 5 minus 2 gave us 3. The negatives 1 by 3, and 7 minus 2 gave us 5. The positives win by 5. This gives rise to our process to add with different signs, is we will subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the one, of the larger, absolute value. Let's try some examples where we subtract and keep the sign of the larger absolute value without having to draw all these pluses and minuses. Here we have negative 6 plus 8. We have different signs, a negative 6 and a positive 8. We see that the positive number is bigger, so our answer is positive. There will be positives left over. How many left over will subtract the numbers? 8 minus 6 is 2. Our answer is positive 2. Technically, you don't need the positive in front of a positive number, but I'll write it here just for emphasis. In this next example, we see that the negative is larger. This means our answer is negative because there will be negatives left over when we pair off our zero pairs. To find out how many negatives are left over, we simply need to subtract the 15 from the 23. Subtracts to 8, and so our answer is negative 8. There will be negatives left over, and there will be 8 of them. The way we add numbers with different signs is we subtract the numbers and use the sign of the larger absolute value.